जय हिंद माई नेम इज मुखलित गोयल एंड माई टॉपिक फॉर टूडेज प्रेजेंटेशन इज हडूप एंड मै प्रोड्यूस इट इज फॉर एम सी ए स्टूडेंट्स एंड सब्जेक्ट इज डेटा एनलेटिक्स एंड पेपर कोड इज के सी एस जीरो थ्री फोर नाउ लेट मी स्टार्ट विद माई प्रेजेंटेशन फर्स्ट द कंटेंट्स ऑफ माई स्लाइड इज द हडूप इंट्रोडक्शन हिस्ट्री एंड एवोल्यूशन मॉड्यूल्स ऑफ हडूप हडूप आर्किटेक्चर देन मै प्रोड्यूस मै प्रोड्यूस आर्किटेक्चर एंड द टर्मिनोलॉजीज इन मै प्रोड्यूस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वॉट इज हडूप Hadoop is a framework that is written in Java and utilizes the last large cluster of commodity hardware to maintain and store big size data. Hardware to maintain and store big size data. What does it mean? It means that basically it's used in it is used in big data. What do you mean by big data? Big data means when we want to work on a very large database or large data set which contains many fields and many records and for from that record if we want if we want to prepare a cluster or we want to analyze data then we use hadoop hadoop uh, works on map reduce program algorithm that is introduced by google which i will explain later and hadoop is a open source framework from apache and it is used to process and analyze the data as i said which is huge in volume and it can be used for both batch processing and offline processing what is hadoop hadoop is a software framework which is developed by google in late uh, 2002 and the first version was released in 2009 and the latest version was released in 2022 it is an open source alternative to the proprietary hadoop software used by companies like yahoo google and facebook it is the evolution chart of uh, hadoop we start with 2002 in which dog getting and mike caferella in, in started a project then google released a white paper on gfs then they released a paper on map reduce in 2004 then in 2004 nuch project implemented map reduce then the development of hadoop started in 2006 then from 2006 to 2007 As a pilot project, Yahoo started Hadoop with 1,000 node cluster. They have created a small cluster of 1,000 node, and then they started the Hadoop Hadoop framework. Then, after in 2008, become a top level project at Apache. In 2000, mid of 2008, Hadoop defeated supercomputers, so they have released this version. And in 2017, Hadoop 3.0 was released, and in 2020, Hadoop 3.1.13, the latest version of Hadoop is released. So in 2020, there is the latest version. There are four modules in Hadoop. First is MapReduce, second is Hadoop Distributed File System, third is yet another resource negotiator, and some common utilities which are known as Hadoop Common. Now first, I will talk about Hadoop Architecture. Hadoop architecture is a package of file system, MapReduce engine, and HDFS. What HDFS full form is Hadoop Distributed File System. <coughs> the MapReduce can be MapReduce one or MapReduce two. The MapReduce two is known as yet another resource negotiator. Hadoop cluster consists of a single master and multiple slave nodes. Basically, what does it mean? It means that Hadoop cluster is based on master slave. system in which one system consist of all the clusters or one system can control the working of all the systems connected to it so that one system is known as master and all those nodes which are connected to that master are known as slave nodes these the master node include job tracker task tracker and name node and data node and slave nodes include data node and task tracker only it is an architecture in which you can see there is a map reduce layer and sdfs layer in map reduce layer there is task tracker job tracker name node and data node and in slave node in slave node we have only task tracker and data node sdfs the master node keeps track of the status of all the data nodes if the data nodes goes down the master node take over the processing of that block if in any case the data node 
गोज डाउन और कैन नॉट वर्क प्रॉपरली देन द मास्टर नोट टेक ओवर ऑल द प्रोसेसिंग ऑफ दैट ब्लॉक एंड द स्लेव नोट प्रोसेस द डेटा ऑन देयर ओन लाइक यू कैन सी इन डायग्राम इफ डेटा नोट गोज डाउन देन दिस मास्टर लेयर मास्टर लेयर टेक कंट्रोल ऑफ ऑल द स्लेव नोट एंड द स्लेव नोट प्रोसेस द डेटा ऑन देयर ओन एंड इट वॉट इज इट स्पेशल रिक्वायरमेंट स्पेशल रिक्वायरमेंट इज अ हाई स्पीड इंटरनेट कनेक्शन इट प्रोवाइड अ हाई डिग्री ऑफ स्केलेबिलिटी एट ऑल नोट प्रोसेस द डेटा इन रियल टाइम एंड इट इज द गुड सोल्यूशन फॉर हाई वॉल्यूम हाई फ्रिक्वेंसी डेटा एनालिसिस हडूप इज यूज बाय फेसबुक यूज बाय गूगल यूज बाय ट्विटर ऑल्सो नाउ वॉट इज नेम नोट एंड डेटा नोट When a client connection is received from the master server, the name node running on the master server links into both local name space and the master server's name space to find the match record. So name node basically it is the name which is given to the to the field, and if the both the fields match in the slave node and the master node, then it starts its processing. second the name node running on the master server executes the lookup and return a list of records that match the query like we see in twitter what we see in twitter we connect uh, we click on politics so in politics and we need see all the news which is related to politics we don't see any news which is related to weather we don't see any news which is related to sports so what does it do the slave node and the master node search for the name node and when the name node get executed it returns the list of the record that match the query like i click on the politics then it display a list which match with the query of politics what data nodes can do data nodes then get the record and start sorting them storing them and sorting them and then these data blocks store different types of data in that which is text images or videos these data nodes are maintained by name nodes and if a data nodes go down the client can still communicate with the name node of the master and these client then get the then get the latest list of the block nodes from the name node and communicate with the data node that has the newest data block so what do we see uh, like the example of twitter there are the different different sections and all these section contains the name nodes and data nodes a name nodes like i say politics it is a name node and data node is what data nodes are the all the information or all the text images or videos which is related to the politics so the user can see after clicking on the politics all the information which is related to the politics only it is how does it work in master node we have data node and resource manager in slave node we have data node node manager <coughs> map and reduce i will explain map and reduce in this slide only later on replication management what we will do if any data is replicated or more same information is stored at many places so when the node fails the data is stored on on it is copied to another healthy node this is though this process is known as replication if any data node is down then the data is stored or copied into another node which is working so if that then it is called the replication because the data which is already stored in the hadoop distributed file system is again replicated with the in the healthy node so if data node fails the data is stored on it is not lost but it is simply stored in the another data node which helps in the high availability of data when we use data node as the primary storage then it is the highly available resource and the primary storage of this data in data node have the proper backup and restoration mechanism so that that the data which is already down if it gets active then the data can be restored from that data node only how does it work you can see it in a diagram that we have a data node one one that is replicated data node 
ओके फाइव एंड फाइव इज आर एप्लीकेटेड डेटा नोट थ्री एंड फाइव इज आर एप्लीकेटेड डेटा नोट ऑल दीज डेटा नोट आर एप्लीकेटेड सो वी क्रिएट अ सेट लाइक वी क्रिएट अ सेट वन वन टू फाइव थ्री फाइव फाइव थ्री एंड फोर 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 सो वी क्रिएट अ डेटा सेट एंड वी विद बाय क्रिएटिंग अ सेट एंड बाय डिफाइनिंग देयर नेम्स वी ब्लॉक द एप्लीकेशन इन द हडूब डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड फाइल सिस्टम रैक अवेयरनेस वॉट डज इट डज इट मीन कि वॉट इज रैक अवेयरनेस वेन एनी डेटा और ब्लॉक इज डिलीटेड फ्रॉम द रैक इट नेक्स्ट अवेलेबल ब्लॉक विल बी प्लेस विथ अनादर डेटा इन दैट रैक आई विल शो इट थ्रू अ डायग्राम फर्स्ट दिस इज द रैक मैनेजमेंट इन इन विच वन स्विच क्रिएट्स अ स्विच then they create a name node and standby name node and resource manager and all these are all these are managed through a rack system like we have given a name rack 1 rack 2 rack 3 so all racks contains the data node and the node manager data node and what does it data node and node manager mean data node means ki the information of that data or of any 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 uh, end of uh, data node contains the information and node manager contains that node what does this node node means like i have told ki whether it is of weather whether it is of politics whether it is of sport so node manager the sports or the politics or the weather or the latest news is the node and the data is inside that node so we we created our rack format for that and in this rack format all this data get stored if any data is deleted from this rack then the another data will fill will be automatic updated in the same rack as data stored in sdfs is massive it takes to use multiple storage node for high speed data access Uh, sdfs gives high speed interactions between the users so it is the rack awareness which i already told you how the data is managed in the rack then now the next is map reduce what is map reduce map reduce is a java based distributed execution framework within the apache hadoop ecosystem it takes the complexity of distributed programming by exposing the exposing the programming steps first map and then reduce what does this map means map means the data is splitting between that the data is split between the tasks map takes the task or a set of data that converts it into another set of data where individual data was broken into clusters or we can say a tuple means the key value pairing like we have done in a database secondly the reduce task which take the output from the map as an input and combines those data with the tuples or into a smaller set of tuples which can we can also say it as a cluster what is the history of map reduce map reduce was developed in was by jog back in 2004 and sanjay ghimawat or google it is the architecture of map reduce what we will do there is a client that have one job job means ki like i am searching uh, x for some information so i am a client i have a job then that job was distributed comes into hadoop map reduce master and from map reduce master it is divided into parts one part is input data another part is output data so first my input data was mapped and after this mapping it will be reduced into smaller smaller parts and then i got the data through map reduce what are these components in map reduce the components in map reduce are client job job part hadoop map master have map reduce master input data and output data like we have seen in this image so what is a client client is one which who brings the job to the map reduce for processing there can be a multiple clients as a single time 
जॉब इज द एक्चुअल वर्क दैट द क्लाइंट वॉन्टेड टू डू लाइक आई टू सर्च समथिंग अबाउट पॉलिटिक्स और आई वॉन्ट टू सर्च अब समथिंग अबाउट न्यूज अबाउट स्पोर्ट्स सो दैट इज द जॉब विच आई एम द क्लाइंट विच आई हैव क्रिएटेड फॉर मैप रिड्यूस टू डू देन वॉट डज मैप हडूप मैप रिड्यूस मास्टर डू इट डिवाइड द पर्टिकुलर जॉब इन टू सब्सिक्वेंट जॉब पार्ट एंड दीज जॉब पार्ट आर बेसिकली द क्लस्टर्स द रिजल्ट ऑफ जॉब पार्ट कंबाइन टू प्रोड्यूस द फाइनल आउटपुट द इनपुट डेटा इज फीड इन टू द मैप रिड्यूस फॉर प्रोसेसिंग एंड द आउटपुट डेटा इज फाइनल इज द डेटा विच वी विल रिजल्ट आफ्टर द प्रोसेसिंग How does it execute? It executes in two part. One is the map stage, and another is the reduce stage. The map stage is to process the input data. Generally, input data is in the form of Hadoop. So the input file is passed to the mapper, line, uh, mapper function into line by line, and it processes the data and uh, creates uh, the data into clusters, a small small chunk of data which we can say it, it can. Uh, process it into a clusters in re reduce stage we have shuffle stage and the reduce stage in shuffle stage we process the data that comes from the mapper and after our processing it produce a new set of outputs which will be stored in the hdfs some terminologies are payload the payload is the function or which is the core job of the map reduce the mapper maps the maps the input key elements into the intermediate key value pair which we can say in that in the form of tuple or we can say it in the form of cluster name node is the node that manages the hadoop distributed file system data node is where we, the data is presented in advance before any processing take place master node which have master node is where we have the job tracker runs and accept the job requests from the client Slave nodes in which the map reduce program runs. Job tracker schedules the job and tracks the assigned job. Task tracker tracks the task and reports the status to job tracker. If there is any failure, then I have already told that data the master node creates another data another field in which that the failed node data node is get stored or executed through a master node. Next is job. Job is a program in an execution. task is an execution of a mapper or a reducer and task attempt is the particular instance of an attempt to execute a task on a slave node with this i have explained the hadoop file system and the map reduce framework